Good morning. So today is the first day of the Hong Kong FinTech Festival and uh, we are just about to head there. It's about a 40 minute drive away, um, but it's a beautiful day. It gives me some chance to do some notes um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this uh, conference has to offer. So let's go. Welcome to the 2019 Hong Kong Fintech Week. Join me, Doug McKenzie from fintech.finance as we explore all the different banks and fintechs on offer here and find out what's truly happening in finance in Hong Kong. Here we are on the second day of the uh, Hong Kong FinTech Week. Uh, it's actually our last day because the third day it's over in Shenzhen, which we don't have a visa for. Um, so let's get cracking. Yesterday I spent most of my time listening to the various different sessions here. This week and especially today is all about the FinTech. I'm going to be going around the floor hopefully getting a couple more interviews than I did yesterday with specific spokespeople. Well, Hong Kong is a very unique place for fintech, especially because of the fact that we are not only a global financial center, the third largest global financial center in the world, but we are right sitting in the middle of Asia Pacific, next door to some of the most innovative centers in the world for innovation. So Hong Kong has some expertise on AI, data, big data, machine learning solutions. We are really close to China where data is permanent there. It's really important there and we have a big influence from China. So most of the people think that Hong Kong has an influence from Western countries, but no, it's not true. We have a big influence from China and it's really different from Singapore as well. Where Singapore tried to attract all these companies from overseas because they have a strong support for MAS. So Hong Kong has specific uh, skills. One of the things is missing right now, I think in Hong Kong is the talent. We don't have enough developers because it's a really small place where we have only 4 million people who can work here. But the, the government, the schools, and the startups and companies try to push forward to have more machine learning experts, AI experts, and increase the skills and you know create that kind of a skill set for everyone here. There's a ton of market development for sure as a start. So yesterday, SFC announced a, a new virtual uh, exchange licensing regime. That's very exciting news for us because we work with many of the, the crypto exchanges around the world. 
Um, we provide them with technology, and there's the whole virtual banking licenses in Hong Kong. Um, that's very exciting also because China will look to develop their own in the future as well, using Hong Kong as a use case. Right? So um, we're working with many of these um, clients uh, in the market, and we're developing our, our product and our clients' needs and helping to stay compliant. Hong Kong's a great place to base a, a, a tech startup. You know, the government encourages it. It's got a very entrepreneurial characteristic about the whole city. The tech, depth of technology here, both for people coming in from China and also the Hong Kong people itself, means you get great developers to work with. This has been fantastic. The first day was just phenomenal. We exchanged a hundred of business cards. It was just queuing everywhere. Like the energy in the room was just massive. So with all the ingredients we have in Hong Kong, we believe and are very confident that Hong Kong will become one of the top three fintech hubs in the world. So today I'm going to show you the breakfast I've been having all week. It is truly the nicest food with such a lovely view. So you can see there, I've kind of gone for everything. Giant amounts of turkey, gravy, crispy garlic, crispy onions, I've gone for dim sum. It's just incredible. So today is my second last day and I've just got to say it's been the most incredible experience of my life. Um, just being shown around Hong Kong, the, the gracious nature of everyone here who's you know, been so kind to me. Um, and you know, I've just had the best time. And, you know, is he gonna get even better today? So I'm just about to check out. I've had a brilliant week here in Hong Kong. I've been learning a lot about the fintech scene here. We've been talking a lot about how the regulators have been changing the way that they've, they look at fintechs. And that's what's so critical. And I think that's what's gonna continue going to be the dialogue um, going into the future as their competitors, Singapore, move in a different direction to Hong Kong. Maybe, we'll find out. But it's interesting and I've had a great time here and uh, I can't wait to come back. So thanks for watching and check out the rest of our stuff at www.fintech.finance. Cheers.